Further to my video on the Reliant Robin and its family of three-wheelers, we take a look now at its spiritual sporty cousin, the Bond Bug. Contrary to popular belief, the Bond Bug's history stretches back further than the Robin, and though the concept may look the same, both cars share less in common than one might expect. To understand the Bug, you need to follow the trail of Bond Cars Limited, the company that first considered the idea of a sports three-wheeler as early as 1964. Bond Cars was founded in 1922 as Sharps Commercials, a car maker who specialised in small commercial vehicles. In 1949, the company was approached by Laurie Bond, a car designer and engineer who planned to exploit the growing market for microcars and three-wheelers during the post-war economic slump. Thus he, with the assistance of his wife, commissioned Sharps to manufacture their first three-wheel design, the Mini Car. The Mini Car Mark A, the initial variant, was only available as a two-seat convertible with an aluminium body, and was powered by a series of single-cylinder, two-stroke Villas engines. Much like its competition, the Reliant Regal, the Mini Car was able to slip through a loophole in vehicle licensing, and could be driven on a cheaper motorbike license. The Mark A was produced until 1951, whereupon it was replaced by the Mark B, then the Mark C in 1952, the Mark D in 1956, the Mark E in 1957, and the Mark F in 1958, all of which added incremental improvements to the design, such as the introduction of a fiberglass hardtop on the Mark D. Finally, the car was made almost fully fiberglass in 1961 with the Mark G, and saw the Sharps commercial name dropped in favour of the more recognisable Bond moniker. The Mark G was the last evolution of the mini car range, and in November 1966, the 17-year-old model was dropped completely in favour of the new Bond 875. Designed again by Laurie Bond, the 875 was unveiled in 1965 and featured an 875cc 34 horsepower Roots, Imp van engine. Many of the underpinnings of the Imp were carried over to form the car's drivetrain, including the transmission, rear suspension and rear wheels but the car was almost completely made of fibreglass with aluminium doors. While the Mini Car and 875 were strong selling models, they didn't compete favourably with Reliance's new Regal 325, which had been launched in October 1962 to widespread commercial success. In response, Bond considered taking the three-wheeled concept a step further by creating a sports version of the car. Bond were no strangers to sports car models, as in 1963, the company had launched their first four-wheeled model, the Akeep GT, a coupe which was based largely off the underpinnings of the Triumph Herald, while also featuring a 1.1-litre Triumph Spitfire engine. While Bond toyed with the concept throughout the 1960s for a sporty three-wheeler, it wasn't until after the ailing company was bought by its rivals, Reliant, in 1969, that the project picked up some momentum. As it happened, Tom Caron, a designer at Kenilworth-based consultancy Ogle Design, had been working on a sports three-wheeler concept since as early as 1964, this being known as the Reliant Rogue. Upon the buyout of Bond cars in 1969, Karen was commissioned to take the Rogue design and carry it over to the Bond Bug project. Karen's styling, which envisaged a space-age looking wedge-shaped body shell made of fiberglass, was married to a bespoke chassis designed by Reliant chief engineer John Crosswaite while all other major components were carried over from the Reliant Regal 330. As the Bond Bug entered the design phase, Reliant were in the process of developing their new mass-market model to replace the Regal, this eventually coming to fruition as the Reliant Robin of 1973. However, in order to test elements of the Robin's drivetrain before it was implemented on that machine, Reliant chose to fit pre-production running gear for the Robin onto the Bond Bug to see how it performed. The first prototype bug was created in 1970, and basically took a production regal, replaced the body with the bug's wedge-shaped frame, and shortened the chassis. In terms of power plant, the car was fitted with the 700cc Reliant Light Alloy 4-cylinder engine from the regal, producing 29 horsepower, and giving the car a 0-60 time of 20 seconds, a top speed of 76 miles an hour, and a fuel consumption of 45 miles per gallon. Initial production for the Bug took place at the Bond Cars factory in Preston, but was eventually moved to the Reliant factory in Tamworth as traces of the former Bond company were discontinued. 
Every bug produced came in a striking tangerine with black sides colour scheme, and access to the car was made through lifting the front canopy forward, which also revealed the engine bay. The only bugs not produced in orange were six units created as part of a promotional campaign for Rothman's cigarettes. Upon the launch of the Bond bug in June 1970, the car was marketed in a manner that would appeal to younger drivers, hoping to shake off the somewhat geriatric feel that had long dogged the Regal. In this, the bug gave rise to a series of trim levels, the Bond Bug 700 being the base model, the 700E being the deluxe version that included a telescopic canopy damper, side screens, heater, and a number of extra internal features, and the 700ES, which was powered by a higher compression engine and featured a spare wheel, wing mirrors, mud flaps, and a racing steering wheel, among many other additional features. Unfortunately, while the Bond Bug was a novel looking car, and was even able to outperform the standard Leyland Mini in terms of straight line speed, a mixture of price and practicality meant it was by no means a viable alternative to a regular four wheeled sports car. The bug ended sales at £629, or £9,803 in 2020, which was more than the comparative Leyland Mini, a problem caused largely through the higher cost of fiberglass assembly. At the same time, the bug couldn't corner as well as the Mini due to its lack of a fourth wheel, and practicality for this machine was more or less non existent. Essentially, the bug was a glorified go kart, with no boot or storage space, and seating only for two. Therefore, the Bond bug never sold in the same numbers as the rival Mini, and despite upgrading the engine to a 750cc unit in 1973, following the launch of the Reliant Robin, it was soon clear that the bug had no future and thus all production ended in May 1974, with only 2,268 vehicles sold. From then on, Reliant would market higher performance versions of the Robin, fitting it with an 850cc engine from 1975, but would never create a dedicated sports three-wheeler again. This doesn't mean that the Bond bug lived its production life unnoticed though. The sheer quirky nature of this odd little machine has turned this otherwise obscure three-wheeler into a cult classic, and today a strong fan base exists to celebrate the fact that the Bond Bug was even built at all. Truly, the Bond Bug was a product of its time, an era when car builders were willing to take a risk on an abstract off-the-wall machine in the hope that their strange creation may turn a profitable number of heads. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more great content. Thank you very much, take care, and I'll see you next time.